Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and Merry Christmas to all of you who celebrate the holiday. It is truly a Merry Christmas because we have a new update to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail, and with that update, for the very first time, comes Chapter 1 of the U.S. campaign. So we're going to take a very first look at that. I literally just installed the update. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for it. So we're going to take a look at the first chapter of the American campaign. Don't worry, we are going to continue the British campaign, but I wanted to give everybody this opportunity to see it. Don't forget, there's still plenty of time to enter the contest to win a copy of this game. You don't need to do anything except subscribe and then follow the link in the description where you can enter the contest using your YouTube account. So let's dive in. You will aid a newborn nation as the naval commander. Your mission is to organize our naval forces and lead them to victory, helping to establish the USA as a free nation. Blood, so I have no idea what to expect. Of the price of freedom. I'm Scottish. I I, oh, you know what? I am John Paul Jones. Yes. In Scotland, my family that. rebelled against the English tyrants. My father was killed in the Yeah, this is John Paul Jones. They served him. All right. I disguised myself as a cabin boy and sneaked aboard a ship. What's that give me? Cash for mission reward. I think that's what I want. I disguised want. myself as a cabin boy and sneaked aboard a ship. Now the sea is my home. Here I have found freedom, adventure, and recognition of my skills. I became captain at just 21 years of age. I am proud of my ship, the but some of the crew resented my promotion. I'm sure I won't have that to start. A mutineer attacked me over a matter of pay. I was forced to defend myself with my sword. Unfortunately, he was from a wealthy family, and they were determined to see me ruined. Again I ran, once more fleeing the tyranny of unjust men. To a land of opportunity. To a country where a man can be free. America. Freedom! Sorry, I couldn't help it. All right, so um, we, we can get repair costs. No. Sale and purchase. That's probably what I want. Uh, or plus one reputation to battle. I think we're going to take the discounts. And formed trading partnerships across the new world. England, the old tyrant, refuses to release her grasp on this land. The British control the major ports and cities. But the people yearn to be free. The time for me to join the rebellion and fight the tyrant has come. Yes. The Continental Navy will need captains who can attack England upon the seas. This time, I will not run. Give me liberty or give me death. All right. With my political connections, I have secured a command where my experience will be useful. Okay, so here we're going to choose this crew training speed, hiring veterans cost, casualties replenished after battle. Let's go Making to hiring Making grand speeches, veterans. I often inspire those around me. The British already control most of the major we're ports probably in the be region. fighting Bunker Hill pretty early on. But now week. is the time to change the course of the war. The situation at sea is as follows. All right. So, C difficulty, I'm definitely going to go with the easy. British have I'm probably going to go with elsewhere. medium on can only dispatch land a difficulty. Of their fleet. Our spies report about the British expeditionary forces suggest. Yeah, we'll go me medium difficulty British on land. Although that may be forces are expected. As the Americans. Victory, glory, and a great future lay ahead. Just have to be smart. Okay, here we go. John Paul Jones, baby. Yes. We can actually change who we are, but there's no way on earth I'm anybody but John Paul Jones in this. So, um, interesting little tidbit while we wait to get started here. John Paul Jones, uh, I believe when he died, he died in France and he was buried there. And they like um, preserved him in alcohol or something and they found his body maybe a hundred years ago or something there's if you google images of john paul jones body you can actually see what he looks like now uh it's kind of creepy but if you're into that sort of thing cool uh, after two weeks we've reached the shores of homeland it was quite calm and sailing uh, our french friends 
friend, friends, even provide us an escort under false flag. Oh, Lord, look at those ships. Britons are really angry on us. Angry on us, yes. We have no chance to bypass the enemy fleet, and we have no chance to intercept us against the wind. Uh, they have no chance. That's why we'll sail south and load cargo on the horse-driven wagons to keep the destination point at home. All right, so I'm just going to skip ahead, and uh, we're going to see what the, the mission is here. Uh, the mission is to save the Earlston, and that's it. Okay, and we start, of course, with small ships. We've got the Vengeance here. got to keep Earlston safe and secure. We've just got to get over to the safe zone right over there. So uh, good news is we've got the wind in our favor. So if we just kind of deal with the HMS Alderney, I think we'll be okay. I want to try and get parallel to him so we can tear into him a little bit with our guns. The other ship's pretty far away. Let's take a look at it. Oh, a little too far. So, yeah, I'm actually not too worried about either of these ships for a first mission, but... There we go. We tore into them pretty good there. This isn't going to be all that difficult. Now that I've got a little bit of experience playing on the British campaign, we're going to really get into them here, I think. Come on, guys. Let's get those guns going. Oh boy. Earlston, you go that way. Sails up and just get out of town. Let Vengeance deal with these guys. Try to turn as quickly as I can here. We just need to get Earlston all the way over there. I think we can probably go up a little bit on speed on this one. Let's sit tight right there. Ah, oh, he's gonna turn. Ah, okay, sails down. All right, we're gonna turn back around now, and we're just gonna kind of follow along with the Earlston. Just stay between them. And the enemy. I think we can speed up even more now. They're easing us in with this mission. Little ship here. It's going to be interesting on the American side because I would expect that we're going to have small ships and have to deal with some rather large ones. All right, we got to be careful because he's going to get in behind me. Actually, I want to turn turn this way. Just stay between them. Up. Oh. Went a little too far there. Thankfully, damage doesn't seem to be a big factor when you run into your own ship. I just want to stay on this side of them. We're not going to do a whole lot of damage from this far away. Piece of cake. All right. You get to safety. I want to try and take out at least the Alderney if I can. Ah, uh, they're just going to run. Chickens, get back here and fight. Right, I'm going to come right down the middle, I guess. Go after both of them. We're going to get right over here to the edge of the map. Let's slow down. All right, I'm going to go after Oakwood.
far away. Everything's deflecting. I think Oakwood's running for it. Ah, uh, now they're gonna turn around. Alderney is the one I want to get. So this is a good opportunity to test something out here. I actually want to try and... It's only a 12-gun ship. Uh, I want to see if I can target his mast with, uh, with solid shot. Let's see how that works. Let's see if we can take that thing down. stern to him. I gotta be careful here. Earlston's gonna reach the safe zone soon. Oh, I hit it. Didn't knock it down, but I hit it. I think Earlston's pretty much in the safe zone now. Oh yeah, there we took a chunk out of it. I guess we're hitting the, the side. I'm taking a lot more damage than I probably should have, but I just wanted to see what I could do here. Earlston's just about safe. There it is. That should be the mission. All right, so there we have it. So now we're going to get our first look at the, uh, at the campaign map on the American side. Not really a lot to that first mission, and they did say that with the next update, we should see Chapter 2. So I would expect, uh, updates have come pretty regularly, um, almost every couple of days, it seems, sometimes once a day. So uh, they've been working hard, and I'm sure, uh, and they've already warned there will be a lot of bugs and things like that on the early part of this. Weapons delivery. We were able to deliver the required weapons for our attack on Boston. General Washington was pleased with the operation. He offered me to join the siege. I have got weapons and funds to form the 1st Continental Navy Marine Regiment. I'm now going to recruit officers, uh, give them muskets, and train them. The battle is going to be easy, and it will be a good experience for them. So uh, we've got battle. the Battle of Bunker Hill is going to be the next one. We have played that uh, in the uh, kind of uh, the, the test runs of this. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot else that we can do besides Bunker Hill at the moment. So we've got Bunker Hill right here. Uh, not a lot of money that we gain for that particular mission. We do have one new technology that we can re research, which is lightweight gun carriages. Definitely going to do that. And, of course, we can see the Earlston is our only ship right now. It's a seventh-rate brig, nothing to write home about. But it is one that we can get some militia units of Marines on. So that's what we're going to do. These guys are going to be going into the Battle of Bunker Hill. And we've got to be careful about uh, the little bit of money that I've got available here. We've got 547 of these in the armory. And they've got bayonets, which is definitely what I'm going to want. Boaz Gukin. That's a sweet name. And then once we get these two units created then we can uh, we can think about additional men added to those units we'll see just how much money we've got left at that point and how much weight we've got available on the ship as well 
All right, so we're down to 1,700. We've got 150 in each of those. We can probably go a little bit higher. And we can probably go up to 175 on each of these. And then uh, the next video will be the Battle of Bunker Hill. So I know this was short, but I mainly just wanted to let you see the very first time, the American campaign. Uh, it's open. It's available. We'll come back with Bunker Hill in a day or two. Merry Christmas, everybody. Make sure you subscribe and follow that link to enter the contest. Thanks for watching.